All right, it's a sunny day today. I've got my new camera and we're here in Idlib city checking out the book fair. Let's go. Oh, this place is packed, man. There's people everywhere. They give you chocolates and they give you drinks. This one, like you got kids' books, you got Arabic books, you got Islamic books, you got, you know, literature books. Hopefully, we can find something in English and uh, I don't know, maybe buy it. But then again, you can just get everything online anyway. So. Assalamu alaikum. Shakamu. Shusma. We've been walking around this place for like 10 minutes now and I still haven't found English books. A bit disappointed to be honest. The red book. Oh, the pediatric book. Nope, oh, not for me. place is absolutely stunning I mean the architecture the gardens but if you look closely behind me you can see even though you got all this happening still signs of war still signs of destruction and it's it's a bitter reminder that no matter how much things are progressing you know things are developing here in Idlib there's still signs of war everywhere oh wow look at that oh, this is actually made from stone Wow, even the vases. Look at that. Wow, that's a superb job, man. I never thought I'd uh, appreciate artwork like this. We, we take for granted basic things like a book, you know, even art. You know, this is a way where many Syrians can, you know, express themselves and, you know, escape the harsh realities of this war and try and channel, you know, positive energy in the right direction despite all the negative, despite all the death that's happening around them. It's rare that you have events like this and that's what makes it so special and the fact that we're here today and we're able to witness something like this and experience something like this of all ages here in Italy is, a, is an achievement. Food time. <laughs> Let's follow the food. 